A mummified 200-year-old monk discovered in the lotus state isn't dead but is in extremely deep meditation, allege academics. Forensic tests are in progress on the stunning remains that are thought to be approximately two centuries old, having been preserved using animal skin. However, specialists maintain the human remains are, in fact, in a rare and extremely special spiritual condition called Tukdam and is only a stage away from turning out to be a real-life Buddha. Over the past quarter of a century, there are said to have been 40 similar cases in India of meditating Tibetan monks. Dalai Lama's physician and a Buddhist monk Dr. Barry Kurtzen said, I had the opportunity to look after a few meditators who found in Tukdam state. If an individual is not able to stay in this position for over three weeks that hardly ever occurs, his body slowly shrinks, and eventually all that remains of the person is his clothes, hair and nails. Typically in cases like this, people who live alongside the monks see a rainbow, which glows in the sky for some days. This implies that he has discovered a rainbow body. This is regarded as the highest condition near the state of Buddha. Dr. Kurtzen added that, if the meditator goes on to remain in this meditative position, he can turn out to be a Buddha. Attaining such a high spiritual state the meditator will as well help others and all the people around will experience a deep sense of delight. Early speculation is that the mummy may be Lama Dashi Dorzo Itijilov's teacher. Born in 1852, Itajilov was a Buryat Buddhist Lama of the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, most famous for the body's lifelike state. The mummified body that was covered in cattle skin was discovered in the Songina Kherkan province of Mongolia on 27 January. However, cops have disclosed that the monk had been stolen from a different area of the country and was almost being sold off. An unidentified official said that it was stolen by a man from a cave in the Kobdsk region who then hid it in his own house in Ulaanbaatar. The man had then been intending to sell it on the black market at an extremely high cost, with local media alleging he wanted to smuggle it over the Mongolian border. Cops unearthed the plot and fast arrested a 45-year-old man identified as Imhta. According to Article 18 of the Mongolian Criminal Code, smuggling cultural heritage items are liable to be punished with either a fine of up to $43,000 or between 5 and 12 years behind bars. The mummified monk is currently being guarded at the National Center of Forensic Expertise at Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia.